I only have Henry in one league, but it really does suck when you see like a, a, the guy of a so-called tank that can never go down. And, and here we are. So I guess we might as well just jump right into it, don't we, Truth? And just yeah, get this like, like a Band-Aid. Let's rip this fucking thing off, huh? It's yeah, awful. let's do it. Derrick Henry officially is out six to ten weeks. Um, oh. I know that's a pretty wide range, but man, as far as fantasy goes, that's it. I mean, you know, you're, you're probably not seeing him again. Um, and also, let's face it, the Titans are probably going to cruise in their division. There's not a ton of incentive for them to bring him back for the fantasy playoffs. Uh, maybe there's an outside chance they could bring him back for the real playoffs. They have signed Adrian Peterson to their team, interested in his fantasy outlook. Yeah, it's a foot injury. They say it's maybe a Jones fracture. Is that what it's called? Something of that nature. It's, Jones it's fracture. Glazer t- t- saying it's the fifth metatarsal. But yeah, as you're saying, six to ten weeks all but ending his, his regular fantasy season. I guess keep him in the IR and the off chance you have him for your playoffs should you make it without him. But this is brutal. This sucks. And you can't imagine, even if you do get him in the late stretch run push, like there's no way they're going to give him 30-plus carries ahead of the real NFL playoffs should you get him. It, it's pretty much a season ender. The question becomes, what do we do with Adrian Peterson? Fresh legs, fresh 35-year-old right. leg, <laughs> but fresh legs coming in. And I feel like it's just one of those things that AP was going to walk in and he's going to run for like multiple hundred yard games from here on out. It just is what happens. I don't know why it makes no sense. Last time he was on the field, it was pretty sluggish, 604 yards, 3.9 yards per carry for the Lions last year. But the year before that on a bad Washington football team, this guy was ripping chunk play after chunk play looking fully rejuvenated. I mean, nobody keeps their body in better shape at this age than Adrian Peterson I wouldn't be shocked at all, given that the the Titans lead the NFL in attempts per game, 260, fourth in rushing yards per game, 1,183, 4.8. You got 147 rushing yards a game, 13 touchdowns or second. We talk about a ground pie. It's enormous. Now, granted, that was 90% of it went to Derrick Henry, literally 90%. It was insane. I think Jerry McNichols is their next closest with like 50 rushing yards or something absurd. It's not even close. But that also tells you they want someone else to come in here and take the load. McNichols has been primarily a third down back all year. I don't see him coming in and stepping up as the guy. I think Adrian Peterson truly is going to have a path to 12 to maybe even 20 weekly carries on one of the most run-centric attacks in the NFL. Is that nuts? What do you think? I don't think it's nuts. Although, you know, after two weeks of watching it, we might look back on it and say, wow, that was nuts. What were we thinking? This is Adrian yeah. Peterson. He's like a million years old. But I mean, are you going out to pick this guy up on waivers? Yeah, I I, I think he's the priority this week. I, I have, I'll do my waiver show tomorrow and I'm kind of rank through and sift through everything just to make sure. But right now, as I did a quick glance over what I think my, my waiver wire rankings will be, he's number one and he's this point of the year, we're midway through. There's not going to be too many backs right. that step into 15 plus carry roles, especially when it's run heavy as this, a pretty solid offensive line. I think it's worth a decent amount of your fab, at least 40% or so. One of those empty the wallet type of plays, in my opinion. It's gross. It's Adrian Peterson, but yeah. Right. But we're going into week nine. Like exactly. you said, that, I mean, it's not like there's a lot on waivers, right? You know, what are you waiting for at this point? And, you know, any sort of waiver pickup, or at least most of them, they're they're crapshoots anyway. And this seems like probably the best crapshoot of the week, by far, actually. A hundred percent. And the only thing that would ding that, we'll know ahead of time tomorrow, because the trade deadline wraps up tomorrow. They could make a move. I, you know, prayers up that they will go after Melvin Gordon, free Javante Williams. How about, Javante how about Williams, like Dearness, uh, that. Dearness Johnson? Dear, I mean, exactly, right? Like someone of that nature that frees up another back and gets a solid mouth in there. Because, I mean, yeah, Adrian Peterson, the volume will be there. And I, I don't see think the touchdowns and a handful of yards will be, but it's not sexy. You put Melvin Gordon there, and he's right back in the running back one status, while Javante Williams becomes one as well. So I, I'm really intrigued to see what happens there. Of course, in the passing game, too, this does. Yes, they're going to try to keep their ground identity, no doubt. But you can't. I mean, Henry was your identity. This is obviously going to impact Tannehill, more pass attempts. And, and that notion, obviously, A.J. Brown, we're seeing him. We're going to talk about him in a little bit as the wide receiver one season returning monstrous 30 plus fantasy point day this last week. I think a lot more of those are going to be on the docket. We'll see him potentially become the actual engine where it's been Henry's for so long. Maybe we see 10 plus targets a week coming AJ Brown's way. Yeah, it's not, it's not crazy. Like I said, we might look back on it in a couple of weeks and say that was really dumb of us, but it's not crazy. Not hey, before crazy we go all. on to the next uh, big injury, give us a like everybody. Help uh, us grow, guys. That does get the pack, get more views in here, shares, retweets, all that good stuff. Continue to get that on in here. 
what is up you fantasy wolf thanks so much for tuning in if you haven't already share your thoughts in the comments check out some more videos and join the newest wolf pack by subscribing below Ooh.